1999, our state decided that public charter schools should be an option for the public. And so we gave funding, but we didn't give adequate funding. And especially in a state where we already are significantly underfunded, to have anything less than a normal school makes it challenging. And the, the majority of funds that we are not receiving are funds that normal public schools receive through bond issuance. Or, uh, so public charters can't issue bonds or levy taxes. And that's how most schools build safe rooms and gymnasiums and buy band uniforms and buses and computers. The charter schools have none of those funds, but they're public school kids. So all of our families pay taxes, but none of those taxes benefit the public charter school kid. So we need solutions. We need, we need a line item for facilities funding or uh, the opportunity to bond, uh, and that's on the horizon. But in the meantime, for the past 19 years, we've had to be very creative. We have to find ways to let necessity be the mother of invention, and you find a way to have a great school in an old YMCA or in an old armory or in a hardware store or department store. So this high school literally operated out of an elementary school called Shields Heights Elementary that was built at statehood. And it was a building built in, I think, 1906, had never been remodeled. There was no handicap accessibilities. I think the bathrooms had been remodeled one time on the second and third floor, but the bottom floor were literally the same bathrooms and fixtures from the turn of the century. And so we came from that venue to this one and our families were just overwhelmed at how nice it was compared to where they were in the past. So in this particular space, we're able to use what the building gave us. So we have parking for days in an old mall. I mean, we have parking everywhere, so that's a real benefit. We have access, you can get here from highways all around. Uh, some of the downsides where you have a kind of a restriction in how you can configure the space. You have steel columns that occur every 24 feet 6 inches. You have to build around and, or design into the plan. Now we don't have a gym and we don't have a, an auditorium. So we have to use, uh, use what we have. It, it was nothing more than we had to have a space for our kids. Uh, we have a large school system, so we have more of an economy of scale to be able to take a little bit off the top of each of our kids per pupil and have a space like this. But many charter schools are much smaller and practically speaking do not have the kind of option that we were able to exercise to build this high school.